The world is full of patterns in art, architecture, music, stories, and especially in nature. Young children observe and are familiar with patterns outside of school. They see the pattern of petals on a daisy, the daily setting of the sun, the beat of music, the pattern of bricks in a wall. The teacher's role is to provide a bridge between the children's informal observations of patterns and the more formal mathematical description of patterns and changes. First, let's distinguish between patterns and sequences. A pattern is a regular arrangement of something such as shapes, sounds, objects, motions, or numbers. So some examples include the rhythm of music, the pattern of tiles on a floor, a list of multiples of three. A pattern might have elements that repeat, though not necessarily. A sequence has an order to it, with something being first, then second, then third, and so on. So even numbers are um, even numbers that are in order is a sequence. Patients who arrive at the doctor's office from first to last, that'd also be a sequence of sorts. When a pattern is in a row, then it is also a sequence. So, for example, the pattern of letters of MO, 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 and so on, that is a pattern that is also a sequence, since there's a first letter, a second letter, and so on. When music is played with a beat and pauses in the form of short, short, long, short, short, long, that is also a pattern, and it is a sequence. The pattern of flowers along my neighbor's sidewalk, you know, there's petunia, pansy, petunia, pansy. This is also a sequence since it is in a row. However, not all patterns are sequences. A two-dimensional pattern is not thought of as a sequence since it is not simply a set of objects in a row. So the pattern of bricks you see um, in that figure to the right, uh, a wall that's go, that goes from left to right and up and down. This is not a sequence. It's a small portion of a wall that continues in all directions. So the bricks have a pattern, but not a sequence. And the geometric patterns you see to the right, uh, the bottom right there, are also not in a sequence. The patterns move out from the center in all directions and not just in one row. And while we're at it, not all sequences are patterns. So sequence listing the multiples of three, like three, six, nine, twelve, and so on, that has a pattern to it, since each item in the list is, is exactly three more than the previous number. Some sequences don't have a pattern to them. So for example, if you consider the sequence of patients that arrive at a doctor's office one day, since the times they arrive are not evenly spaced and the people have no pattern to them. Another example is at a coffee shop. There is a sequence of drinks that are made by the workers. They make whatever drinks are purchased in the order they are purchased. There is a sequence of the drinks made, but there is no pattern to what the drinks are. Young children should explore patterns in many modes. So auditory, you know, sounds such as rhythm and music, visually, seeing a pattern in objects or uh, drawings, kinesthetically, movement or motion or placing objects. So for example, children are engaging in auditory and kinesthetic experiences if they clap their hands and snap their fingers in a pattern such as clap, clap, snap, clap, clap, snap, so on. The teacher uh, could suggest a pattern and lead it. Then children could suggest other patterns and lead classmates in new patterns. The example of clap, clap, snap, clap, clap, snap, and so on, that is considered to be a repeating pattern since the basic unit, the clap, clap, snap, is repeated over and over and over again. An example of a visual pattern of an outdoor landscape hedge formed of tree, bush, tree, bush, that is also a repeating pattern. And letters and numbers can also be used for repeating patterns, such as ABC, 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 and so on, or 246, 246, 246. Another type of pattern is a growing pattern. 
If you start with a clap snap, then clap clap snap, then clap 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 snap, then clap 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 snap, you can see you're doing more claps each time. That's a growing pattern. Another example would be this geometric growing pattern you see here, where between the oval, then a triangle, oval, then two triangles, an oval, then three triangles, and so on.